Hey Paranormies, it's Jenna and Alice, and you're on the light side of the paranormal. Today we're doing another Noob's Top 5 reaction for you guys. We're kicking it old school and bringing back an older video of his that we've yet to react to, thanks to the recommendation of Isa G. She has commented on our post and on YouTube, I believe, before requesting that we react to this video because there's some type of video in this compilation that she wants to know our opinions about. So we thought we'd bring back new stuff five. It's been a little bit since we've reacted to his stuff. Don't forget to go over and give him some love. He's got great, great, scary compilations on his channel. And we love new stuff five. So I'm excited to be reacting to this stuff again. Me too. There's nothing like Nukes, honestly. He just, the way that he does the playbacks, the way that he slows things down, he explains everything. Yeah, I just, I love, I think that we both really, really love the way that he compiles his videos. So it feels good to be going into something that we know for sure we're gonna love. And this video was originally posted in April of 2020. So you may have seen this before on your own, but come on back and watch it with us because we might be able to elaborate on some of the things that maybe you didn't catch. And if spooky and paranormal content is your jam, be a part of our Paranormal fan by clicking that subscribe button. And if you're new here, you can go over to our Instagram page and follow us there. And you can follow Alice and myself on our personal pages as well. Everything will be linked in the description below. Are you ready? Let's go. So this is five scary ghost videos from very haunted places. How about ghosts? Call on camera. Terrifying toys. Yeah. Paranormal investigator Andy <laughs> McCallan from the YouTube channel Sooth Paranormal got a call from his longtime friend Lee about some odd occurrences that had taken place in his home. The house has a creepy haunted history, and several witnesses have experienced paranormal activity while visiting the residence. Eddie's friend Lee decided to try out some strange experiments and had purchased a few dolls to try and trigger any ghostly activity in the hopes of capturing it on video. It worked. Ew, is that a little clown? Oh yeah. It's one of those like bean bag, do you remember those? From the 90s? I have one. I guess it is still there actually. shows Eddie the disturbing footage of Eddie as a skeptical paranormal investigator goes to Lee's house to check it out for himself. They set up the creepy dolls around a Ouija board and start recording. I don't then love this. This happens. If so, she's ready. Did you see that? Is someone holding that or is it just the doll holding it? It's the doll. And it moved. Whoa. Oh, okay. I don't know, man. Like, I, hey, I hey, 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 He's more than a little freaked out. He says that at the time he checked for strings, thinking that his friend Lee might be pulling a prank on him. But he couldn't find anything to explain what he had just witnessed. To this day, after many investigations, Eddie of Sue Paranormal says he has never experienced anything like what happened that night. The video remains unexplained. Um, the way that clown... It did not like fall off or like get pulled off. It like <laughs> here crawled I go. <laughs> off. It, like crawled off. 
Okay, well, here's, here's something. What I was going to say was, the specific movement of the clown kind of looked like it was leading with one of its feet, which is oh. eerie as hell, but there could have been, like, let's say, a, some fishing line right. wrapped around one of the feet and just kind of, like, jiggled. Because it did come down in a very weird way. You're right, it didn't just, like, fall down. Um, I don't know, that... That was kind of my perception. It was still yeah. freaky. I don't love doll videos. What do you think about the, like the Ouija board planchet? That was weird. Um, obviously, yeah, like string could be used as well. He said that there wasn't any string. Yeah. I mean, you're obviously taking everybody's word for it at this point when you're watching a video because it's not like you're there experiencing it for yourself, but it's really freaky. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That was very, very good to watch. I enjoyed that. I will point out that one of our viewers, Sean RH, did mention in our last reaction to Poltergeist videos that you can get like fine Kevlar strings for oh, magic yes. tricks yes. that you don't even see. Like even if you're in person, apparently you don't even see them for like, you know, magic and illusion type tricks. So if you don't even see them in real life, you definitely wouldn't see them on a on a camera that looks a little bit blurry, you know what I mean? That's very, very true. I just thought I'd mention that because yeah, that's totally true. We just, we always picture fishing line and stuff, but yeah, there are even thinner lines than that. Really, really good point there, Sean. We see you, Sean. We see you. You've been here since the beginning. <laughs> so thank you yeah. so much. So there's another doll video. Which... And continuing with the theme yeah, of all the dolls. This video was sent in by Nuke's top five viewer, Joel Bruce. He says his niece was filming her younger sister who had found one of her old dolls and decided to play with it outside their home. What happens next is truly bizarre. Uh. The doll seems to turn its head to look at the young girl. What? Doesn't even notice. The incident was so unexpected that the sister is actually zooming the camera away as it takes place. But I'll try to stabilize the video and keep it zoomed as much as I can. Yeah, wow. That's so strange. Weird. Well, that was unsettling. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you think that. Well, that's it. Like, you can't really wrap string of some kind. Yeah, it's the turning of the head. Yeah. Uh, weird. That's a weird one. That was good. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Another creepy doll video was sent in by TikTok user Liliana Castillo. In the video, her daughter Golly can be seen playing with her doll. Everything is fine until she seems to hear something odd that catches her attention. Aunt how is this a video to you? Good? Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much, Kelly. You are a good sport. So, Kelliana, what? Hmm. She's turning her head. Oh. Oh, oh. I didn't catch it. Did you see it? Yeah. Watch closely right at the corner of the screen. Right when Golly appears to hear something to her left, the doll turns its head to oh, look at her. Sees it, right? Horrified, Golly runs to her mom to tell her what happened. The doll has since been thrown out in the trash. Holy crap! I That seems 100% believable. My daughter makes videos like that all the time with her toys, and I feel like if I was looking back on that, and so would lose it. Yeah. And she was scared. And that's the thing, it's videos of children that I find yeah. so much more believable because they don't really, they've not mastered the yeah. lie. Yeah, they are <laughs> right? acting, you yeah. know what like I mean? Like they, they're just genuinely reacting to what's going on around them. So yeah. that was so terrifying. Yeah, I, yeah, that was very creepy. I believe that one. You know how they say like, if you love a toy enough, you could turn it love it to life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah, you think it's gonna be a good one, but <laughs> losing is marbles. Museum Museo de Horror, located in Saltillo, Mexico, often uploads their own paranormal investigations to their YouTube channel and Facebook page. 
In this investigation, museum director Alejandro Mortem explores an abandoned park in the middle of the night and streams it live on Facebook. He soon begins to hear strange sounds, almost like pebbles or stones falling on the steps all around him. Hay algún espíritu o entidad que se encuentra en este lugar que quiera manifestarse ahora, que quiera hablar conmigo. Escucho como no sé si me piedra. Ya dos veces que lo escucho. After a while, Alejandro finally realizes what the sounds are. Oh, marbles. Someone or something is dropping marbles close to Alejandro's feet. What happens next is downright chilling. Hay alguien aquí en este lugar. Algo, no sé. Ay, cabrón, qué chido. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. What looks like the small hand of a child grabs one of the marbles that has fallen near Alejandro's feet. Ah. He spins around, but there's no one there. Is this the ghost of a child still playing with marbles at the abandoned park? <laughs> or is it all just an wow. elaborate hoax? You decide. Okay, so if it was a hoax, yes, it would have to be an elaborate hoax because first, this was live. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, like, that's so quiet. Like, I feel like, I guess kids could totally be agile like that, but I mean, to spin around, and, I don't know. It looks like a living person's hand as well, so you're, again, just taking his word that it's... That's it. It, it is opinion-based, for sure. But freaky. I felt like it was real. Yeah, yeah. That is my opinion. Every once in a while, you get some type of apparition or something caught on camera that looks very alive. That was creepy. Okay. Yeah. Hey there. <laughs> I need my marble back. Yeah. Super <laughs> creepy. But he's at a park too, right? So like, kids playing with marbles at a park, totally plausible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Creepy. That was a great video. Yes. I liked that one. I'm excited to see what's next. So far, this has been great. Meanwhile, on TikTok. Yes. Mm -hmm. Andy Sauce's camera say is trying to record a video for TikTok when he spots something truly chilling. That's behind the dresser. But like it's against the wall. The face of a little girl sits peeking out at Andy from behind his wardrobe. However, when Andy checks the area, no one there. That is too small for a person. Not only is there no one in the space, but Andy demonstrates in a follow-up video how no one could have even been sitting oh in this narrow gosh. area to begin with. It made eye contact with me. <laughs> yeah, with you. Yeah, like... Sí. Whoa. Yeah. Like, oh my god, that's like behind my dresser right here. We would never, never. Ugh, yuck. I love videos like this where it's something so impossible and yet it still happens. So it's like really hard to wrap it up. And it's like, how do you make that? Girl. Or is it just a very good fake? But you'd be able to see, Let like... Let me know down in the comments. That was crazy. <laughs> I love that one. Yeah. I'm, 
I love that, that he actually brought the camera around, showed us, hey, like, yes. you know, even compared to this fist, like, all that stuff. I really appreciated that. You could totally pull that dresser out and have a kid go behind there, but you could tell in the original video that it was only, like, this far mm -hmm. out from the wall. Yes. Oh, that was so crazy. cool. Oh, my gosh. And I know, I used to chirp on the TikTok ghost footage. <laughs> I know. Some of them are so good. I feel like TikTok since then has become like a primary form of social media. So yeah. people are filming themselves all the time. Like, you know, you're filming yourself randomly and a ghost happens, you know, yeah. happens just... to be there. Anyhow, so. People are catching more and more things. I'm, I'm retracting my <laughs> statement about TikTok videos. Thank you. That was awesome. I know you love TikTok. <laughs> okay, next one. She made eye contact with his camera. And I kind like, of think she was smiling like the way that her nose is kind of scrunched up. TikTok user Rubik's Cube was born in Home Alone when he decided to learn a dance and record it for TikTok. Oh, now, he's keep a in mind, he says he was home alone at the time. Oh, we're going to say some pairs. It's getting closer. Now this creepy video went viral, and it was sent in by viewers of my channel so many times that I felt it had to have a spot in this week's top five. Wow. However, it was a different video posted by Rubik's Cube that really caught my attention. Oh. During renovations of his house, he Rubik's recorded this King. chilling footage. Yeah, sorry, what we're talking about is this whole theory about like tr t in times of transition, like, you know, starting a new job or like, renovating your home, so just times of, of transition in your life, how it stirs things up, so... Mm -hmm. Energetically. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. Someone or something seems to be standing behind the see-through curtains. I see stuff like this all the time. The I'm doing it fast, Like, that's pretty figure. fast. They turn it out. Is it a ghost or a TikTok hoax? You or decide. Like transition. Right? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine you're just like a spirit in the afterlife, whatever that may be, and um, you're like, today, I'm going to stand behind a curtain. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> just like, this is what my day looks watch, like. Watch, when he comes back, <laughs> gone. <laughs> Got him. Got <laughs> him. The thing is with TikTok and like cuts with the doorway, you could definitely cut it. Mm -hmm. and then, if not, I mean, the... the Curtain wasn't moving when he looked back either. Like something yes. ran out or anything. Which is true. I don't know. It's a tough one. If we're talking about the possibility of editing that, um, with those TikTok dance moves that he was doing, he seems pretty TikTok experienced. <laughs> <laughs> so if anyone knows how to do that yeah. like transition, Maybe. Maybe. it could be him. But that was really, really cool. Yeah. Taking flight. Now, I've tried to find the original source of this video, but with no luck. All that is known about this mysterious clip is that it was recorded at the now empty El Dorado Airport in Bogota, Colombia. A guy is walking around completely alone when he hears strange sounds coming from the airport's bathroom. Bueno, estoy nuevamente aquí en la puerta del baño. No hay nadie acá. That's weird sound. Yeah, yeah, tampoco hay nadie. No hay nadie allá. La sangre de Cristo me cura. Hola, hola. Hola. Hola, hola. ¿Estás acá? ¿Dónde estás? Se prenden las luces. ¿Estás jugando con la llave? Now, 
it's hard enough to get one of these automatic faucets to yes, work you yes. want them to. So it seems like it would be very difficult to fake this for a video. Yeah. But what do you think? Is it real? And then the hand or dryer. Just a very yeah, which is not even close to. Yeah. You decide. Man, that gave me weird flashbacks to that haunted apartment that I lived in. Ooh. Remember when, this, when all the taps turned on at the same time? Yes. Ugh. Yeah, that's, I don't think this one's faked. That seems pretty legit and hard. hard. That would be hard to fake, I think. The only part that would be easy to fake, in my opinion, would be the door. Yeah, but I mean, he's right. The, those sinks are impossible. <laughs> on a good day. Cobb Mansion. On the YouTube ghost hunting channel, The Haunted Side, lead investigator oh, Patrick, yeah. his friend Jeremy, and cameraman Jason are investigating the 140-year-old Cobb Mansion in Virginia City, Nevada. Cool. The mansion was built so on a lot where long ago a small home was lost in the Great Fire of 1875. Oh. A fire which burned down most of Virginia City, Nevada. Oh. The new owners of Cobb Mansion have reported multiple incidents of intense paranormal activity inside what is now the Cobb Mansion bed and breakfast. When Patrick and his team start investigating, it becomes clear that something just doesn't want them there. What the? Something hit us? the room where you worked? What was that? That just hit me in the jaw. Oh, what yeah. Was that? Sorry. I don't know. What the? Oh, yeah. Is this the room where you worked? What was that? That just hit me in the jaw. I'm not kidding you. It hit me in the what jaw. Was it? I know. I, I like. I heard it bounce off of you and it landed on the floor. <gasps> what is that, dude? What is that? A dude, rock? It was underneath this stuff. How the hell did it get underneath that? What is that? What is that? A rock? I don't know. Or a tooth? No, it's a rock. It's a rock. Can you imagine a tooth? It's As they continue job? their investigation downstairs, one of their static cameras is recording the upstairs hallway. They capture chilling footage of something they can't explain head back downstairs to continue the investigation and once I review this footage realize we captured something unbelievable. Oh book? Which book is it? Read me. Oh what's really strange about this is that the book hovers in place for several minutes before falling to the ground. Yeah <coughs> creepy. And when we head back upstairs to get this night vision camera, we find out that whatever's up here wasn't finished yet. Oh, there's more books in the ground. Upstairs, I'm getting that again. Cool library area. Yeah. Libraria. Libraria. Oh! Dude, it fell! It fell! Oh, oh my gosh. Oh! Dude, it fell! It fell! Hang on, wait. Pause. As a paranormal investigator, when something moves and stuff, you have to like immediately put your hands up and be like, "Wasn't me? It wasn't me." Yeah. <laughs> I promise, no strange. It wasn't me. <laughs> Did it on its own. Oosh. It fell. Yeah. It's, it's something that you have to do in order for your viewers to understand what you're going through in the moment, right? Mm -hmm. Well, and we know that with the paranormal in general, there's always someone trying to debunk something, yes, yeah. including ourselves, yeah. Yeah. right? So it's just. Extra information. This is something we all do, mm -hmm. because as investigators. Now, just a bit shaken up, they head back downstairs. And this is when things get truly bizarre. Dude, are you. I feel like a, a breeze of coldness. Is that Patrick? What do you see? I just saw literal. My throat is like a whole me. being walk by, and I heard Ooh. it. Did you see that? This, the, oh, the light died. The night vision. This just died. It just come. Everything's dying. Oh, right now, you guys. Everything's dying. All right, let's go, guys. Oh. Let's go. Oh, God. let's go. Let's go. Wow. Do you see it moving? Yep. There was like a scream. Oh. This oh, God, just. Please. Let's go. Let's go. Come let's on. Go. Did you see it? No. As all of their equipment starts to fail, a tall dark shadow can be seen going from right to left at the end of the hallway. Oh, let's go, let's go. Do you see it moving? Oh, yeah. yep. oh God. Let's go. Let's go. Do you see it moving? When everything yep. starts to 
die What makes this footage even more compelling is that just earlier, cameraman Jason had seen the same tall shadow at the other end of the hallway. We head downstairs to start the sensory deprivation experiment, but before the cameras were even rolling, Jason sees something that absolutely terrifies him. The guys are walking up the stairs to the sensory deprivation. It was literally standing at that door. There was there was a legit figure just standing right here. I'm sorry. It was literally just standing right here. Like I got full body chills right now. Like can barely handle it. Full body chills. How tall was it? Taller than you. Like by maybe a foot. Yeah. That's so validating. Yeah. Yep. So, did Patrick and his team capture a ghost on camera? You decide. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. You can check out the full investigation over on their YouTube channel, The Haunted Side, Paranormal Investigations. Dang! Yeah, what I was going to say was like, when everything starts to like shut down like that, it's almost like whatever entity is there is starting to suck everything up and building up mm -hmm. because they're going to do something large or like this, like show themselves. So like getting out of there is a good idea when stuff like that starts to happen all at the same time. It's like an energy surge. Yeah. That was a great video. I thoroughly enjoyed every single moment of that. And good on our boys from the haunted side for making the number one spot on this news video. Yeah. Lots of stuff is going on there. I don't think you can deny that there's something going on in that location. I wish that they could have um, read which which books fell off the shelf because I feel like those are significant. Yeah, it's maybe they do. They're in their situation. Yeah, sorry. I was trying to say. Just me. I just took all of the words out of your face. Bye -bye. That's okay. Yeah, because maybe on their investigation is they go into that more thoroughly. Yeah, because why that book? Why those books? Yes. What do they say? What page was open? All those things. I'm just so curious. Yeah. yeah I'm definitely going to go ahead and watch that video on their channel, and you should too. All these creators. But that girl, which one did you think was the scariest one of all of those? Uh, the the little girl with the doll whose head looks at her oh, and okay. her mom. Me, the dresser face girl. The dresser oh, face I forgot girl. about the dresser face girl. Yeah, probably her. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like so that we know that you liked it and YouTube knows that you liked it. And leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on some of these videos. Are they fake? Are they real? Which one freaked you out the most? How do you feel about haunted dolls? Let's start there. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it for us tonight, guys. So, as always, live your life with love and light. And keep on creeping on. See you next time. Bye. Bye.